Lucius. Good chat. Oh, yeah. One of the best. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Um... Yeah, just... Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Yeah, don't want to make uh, Can I sound... get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long. Okay, what is she doing here? This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. Um, I'm going to go with this one. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. Uh, you helped the GCPD father. capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um. Damn it, I was about to answer that as well. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I wasn't myself at the time, okay? I, I was... Drugged by Lady Arkham. I know the story. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. Oh, I yeah. Maybe you surprise, have. surprise. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. What? It sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he He's got do some something sus wrong? Suspicions. He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Uh, Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all in the lab. What is he task. trying to prove? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. No, I don't. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe... 
Maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. I am calling my lord. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. What was... Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking... What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell what? Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry it's I wasn't around more. Lucius... We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Lucius! Holy shit! No! You have got to be shitting me! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Christ almighty, talk about killing one of the big characters out of the game. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany. I'm gonna take care of your family. As if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Uh, it could be the opportunity to interview on the casino or show was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations. And tore a family apart in the process. Believe me, Alfred, I know how you feel. But we can't make this about revenge. Riddler is a threat to Gotham. And that's why... He has to be stopped. As long as he is stopped. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yeah. Yes. Best bet. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Um, let's go with this one. Your dad was like family to me. If, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, Please let me know. Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Christ, Just that's horrible. Just more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. Yep, she's angry now. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. 
Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. Christ. There, there was hardly anything left. House. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? I think we're gonna have to let her in. It doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just... Tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. Uh, I need to know. I'm going to tell the truth. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Oh, crap. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. Oh, shit. We should have lied. <sighs> that may have been a really bad call. Really. It's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, right? Now, for that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging... Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Seriously? Sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me. He's nuts. Complete. And not we nuts. Ditch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something. Ah, uh, what the just hell is he got? The occasion. Okay. Um, I mean, see, I thought it might make you feel better. You do realize you don't give these at funerals, right? <laughs> of course you don't. It's okay. It's okay. Just keep it down. Gotta be quiet as church mice, right? <laughs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> he's not, not he's, like he's gonna crack eventually. He's gonna do some of something probably in the next few episodes. I really miss those padded walls. If not possibly this one. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? It's the best place for you. I'm sure they take you back. Oh no, Bruce. <laughs> Didn't you know? I'm cured. Dr. Leland said so herself. Cross my heart. <laughs> Off the meds and everything. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor. You uh, owe me. what favor? You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. Sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're 
You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I never made that promise. I got into a lot of trouble for what we did, Bruce. You saw that place, saw those doctors. I want nothing to do with you. Really don't want anything to do with you. Matthew tells us. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of what? your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. Um, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Not a chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. Just makes me want, I don't know, lash out. Shh. Shh. We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Just tell him you're sorry and let it go. He's very sorry. We both are. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. You should be allowed to He's starting to lose it. You can just see his, hmm. his character is just slightly going sorry, over. Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. <clears throat> Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece okay. of work. Calls himself the Riddler. Oh, shit. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, just from the news. I mean, the guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Okay, go on, Maybe spill. I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Yeah, just... Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? Um, I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. No, I'm gonna go ice. Do not get involved. When this clearly means so much to you. No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of this. Just meet my friends later. Like I asked. No, that's not gonna happen. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. 
Um. Oh, I can't. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. I can't risk it. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. That's definitely made the story interesting, but I'm still I'm still kicking myself over that decision. Well to lie or tell the truth over what happened to freaking Lucius. Uh so let's over these games. Enjoying the view. Uh, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Towers start falling apart. Makes you wonder what's next. Ah, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Wayne's still in one piece. It's the dead who deserve your sympathy. They have it. Them and their families. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no-man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd to 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down oh, the Oh, fun. <laughs> okay, time for some fun. Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Yeah, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. Right, what else? Um... A construction site at the center of 46th. Abandoned. Harvey's boys demolished that area, chasing the children of Arkham. But nothing but a crater there. Not really a place for Riddler to have a hideout. Hmm. I am still one more potential place, 44th. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. She puts her people at risk, and believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. She'll stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. It's oh, damn it, I was about I to answer things. that one as well. It's not the way we do things. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got to agree with him that one. She's proven useful so far. <clears throat> Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. 